three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. The launch of a space shuttle is the beautiful finale to years of planning and hard work by thousands of people. But the most important part of a shuttle launch is what goes on behind the scenes. Recently returning from a 14-month stint in Afghanistan, the 920th Air Force Reserve Rescue Squadron is gearing up for their next mission to ensure the safety of the astronauts on Space Shuttle Discovery. If anything at all goes wrong with the Space Shuttle or any of the astronauts, we're ready to go pick them up. This squadron is the first to respond if the astronauts are forced to bail out. Air Force Reserve Lieutenant Colonel David Blackburn explains that on these missions, there's no room for error. There's a lot of parts and players, uh, so can we orchestrate this thing perfectly the first time because that's the way it has to be done. After the briefing, the rescue squadron gears up, flying four Pavehawk helicopters over to Cape Canaveral. Two of the helicopters land near the launch pad, ready for emergencies, while the other two fly over the Cape clearing out the area to protect boaters from falling debris. Blackburn explains how the reserve's day-to-day -day combat role makes them the perfect candidate to work with NASA. The continuity that they bring to the table, the reserves bring to the table, uh, NASA can depend on us to do it exactly the same, the right way, every time. They don't have to train us to redo this mission. Airdoc 1, this is DOD Sergeant on 117. I have you loud and clear. How many? Over there, over there. Once the shuttle lifts off, the crew moves to semi-normal operations, watching from a distance, but bearing in mind they could be called into action if anything goes wrong. The launch goes smoothly, and although seemingly uneventful, Colonel Steve Kirkpatrick says a quiet mission is a successful mission. We uh, help rescue the astronauts in case something doesn't go well, but today we, were, we weren't used and we're happy about that. A successful mission that wouldn't be possible without the hardworking men and women of the 920th Rescue Squadron.